Yo, 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 what's good, everybody, man? Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Man, we're talking about Charleston White, and uh, what we are talking about Charleston White is now all of a sudden Charleston White has a problem with Umar Johnson. As you know, before I interviewed Charleston White, and he said that he was a fan of Umar Johnson. What's changed now? Uh, what's changed now is Charleston White is looking for uh, someone to clout chase, and who better than low-hanging fruit like Umar Johnson. And it can make Charleston White look like the good guy because we all know Umar Johnson is a bad representation of the black community. He's a scammer. He's been using a fictitious school to scam for over 10 years now, to scam people for over 10 years now. And it's astonishing to me that he's able to have these here breakfast club interviews and all that. Well, now seeing that DJ Envy is on there, it's not so astonishing. Um... Because uh, it looks like the Breakfast Club condones scammers coming on there. But that's another video for another time. Uh, this is about Charleston White now all of a sudden not liking Umar Johnson. I've interviewed Charleston White and uh, Charleston White spoke real fondly of Umar Johnson. Said that he's fond of the movement, he's fond of the school, he's fond of it being big. But now all of a sudden he has changed his mind. He has changed his mind. And I will re um re-upload uh, that uh, video of Charleston White saying that he was down for Umar Johnson. But let's listen to some of the stuff that Charleston White had to say. Okay, man, that nigga a weenie. See, see, I can give y'all a list of things that I've done in the community. Dr. Umar Johnson can't give y'all a list of nothing. That nigga just used big words. Where he get his degree from? What school he went to? Dr. Umar Johnson, you a hoe-ass nigga, bitch. See? See? See right there? That's what we've been saying years ago, Charleston White. That's what we've been saying years ago. And ironically, we can say the same thing about you, sir. We can say the same thing about you, man. You're not doing nothing for the black community. Where is your community work? Where is your community work besides you going in, finding uh, crooked officers to get behind to push your agenda in Fort Worth, Texas? Huh? Where is your community work when you are putting uh, false allegations out on Kevin Spencer, bruh. Kevin Spencer, a Fort Worth OG. You calling the man a snitch? Come on, man. Chaz, nigga, I know that. Don't make me pull your card, nigga. Don't make me call Baba Amin and that nigga Supreme and get them online and tell them how, how you be weak for that pussy. What he's talking about right now is uh, some people in Fort Worth uh, when he does shows in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area when, when Umar Johnson has speaking engagements in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. He calls up these here particular people uh, for his uh, drug and sexual advancements. But we've all known this here about Umar Johnson. I'm trying to figure out, Charleston White, why are you just now jumping on the bandwagon? Why are you just now jumping on the bandwagon? Because you was an Umar Johnson supporter. You was an Umar Johnson supporter, sir. It's crazy to me. Um, if you want to hear the rest of this, Hold on, we'll play a little bit more, but he starts getting crazy in it all. They, boy, they, they, listen, they say that boy, Dr. Umar Johnson, like to fuck like a motherfucker. And he ain't no fucksmith, the girls say. He ain't no type of nigga jump off the dresser. He a tiptoe. Yeah, yeah, he a tiptoe. He ain't no, he ain't no ground pound. That's what them hoes say. They say he weak in his loins, his knees ain't strong, and he don't fuck with his feet shoulder width apart. So his, his thrust game. That's what them hoes say about you down here in Fort Worth. You remember you were fucking with them hoes down here, nigga? You remember Baba me and them? Don't play like you don't know, Umar. So you been new this here, Charleston, but you was rocking with the man. It's crazy, man. Get in the comments, man. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this. If y'all want to see the rest of this, uh, you can find this here on Old That Shayla's page. Old Ass Sailors, Old Ass Shayla's channel. Um, yeah, thanks for your time, man. Make sure you subscribe up, man. In 2024, man, this dude here needs to be canceled. If cancel culture is still a thing, though, but hey, it is what it is, though, man. We out, bro.